Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, held a remote meeting with the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry Chairman, Mr. Samir Nas, and other related parties. The virtual session followed the keynote speech of His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, at the opening of the fourth session of the fifth legislative term. In his speech to the legislative bodies, His Majesty the King had called on the businessmen to propose initiatives to develop the economy and generate rewarding jobs for Bahrainis. The minister said Bahrain would continue adopting initiatives aimed to promote sustainable economic development and spur growth thanks to His Majesty the King's directive supported by the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Economic Development Board Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Khalid Hamidan, affirmed the continuation of attracting investments that contribute to supporting economic diversification in the Kingdom of Bahrain and creating promising qualitative opportunities. Mr. Hamidan pointed out that this is achieved by identifying sectors that are characterized by their strength and biodiversity in the long term. In addition to promoting appropriate infrastructure and an environment that strongly supports digitization, which ultimately aims to achieve sustainable development. The words of Mr. Hamidan came during his participation in the fifth edition of the Future in Investment Initiative Forum held in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Mr. Hamidan briefed the FII Forum on the EDB's investment strategy and its focus on vital sectors in a number of prominent markets, highlighting the Kingdom of Bahrain's strong competitive advantages, including a favorable business environment, the optimum operational cost base in the region, and qualified human resources. The Civil Aviation Affairs has announced an update to Bahrain's entry procedures for those arriving through Bahrain International Airport. The update follows the government's executive committee's approval and it is in response to the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus recommendations. The Civil Aviation Authority said that commencing Sunday, October the 31st, all certificates with a QR code for vaccines approved by the World Health Organization or the Kingdom of Bahrain will be accepted. All entry procedures for the Kingdom of Bahrain are available on the Ministry of Health's website, Health Alert. .gov.ph. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,175,246 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,140,103 had taken the second dose, and 445,019 had taken the booster shot. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 527 with 68 recoveries, 33 registered new cases and no deaths. 12 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 18 are contacts of active cases and 3 are travel related. The ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.